Here they go. White and the green is waving. And look at LaJoy. He pulled up in the middle and got around Nemechek. Randy LaJoy has got less than a mile and a half to catch Mark Martin. He's on the bottom of the racetrack. Right foot to the floor. Quaddle wide open as they come off a of turn two and flatten out 1,228 feet. Mark Martin leads away. Six following back to LaJoy. And Joe Nemechek, who's caught back behind some cars, has lost the fourth spot to Chad Little. Coming out of turn four, it'll be checkered flag. This time by, can Mark Martin hold on? Five car lengths, four car lengths, and Martin will take the victory. Randy LaJoy finishes second, and looks like... Chad Little third. Chad Nemechek. Little third, and Nemechek, uh, who had trouble on that restart. Yeah, he really got off to a bad start. Don't know what the problem was, Jerry, but he lost a couple of positions. Mark Martin has come from the back to the front to win his fourth in 1993. We'll be back to talk to the winner of the Gatorade 200 after this. Back with more from Darling. Well, now able to hold on to the spot. There is the leader, Mark Martin, being pursued by Larry Pearson, and the white flag is indeed being waved. Set on the pole, dominated a new track record in qualifying, trying to get his first win in 1994. We got a race for third place. Looks like Kenny Wallace is just about off the 20 car of LaJoy. And with LaJoy is blocking pit down down the back runway, trying to keep Wallace behind him. He says, if I can keep him back there until we get back to the fourth turn, everything will be okay. These guys are second and third in the point stand. In fact, Wallace is second and LaJoy is third, but they're inverted on the track. Martin takes the win. Pearson is second. LaJoy will hang on for third. Wallace fourth. Kent fifth. Earnhardt sixth. Waltrip seventh. And you hear the crowd celebrating as they watch the Win Nixie car of Mark Martin come around and dominate here this 200 miler, the Mark III Vans event from Darlington, South Carolina. And Jerry, I saw Mark's favorite beauty queen down in Victor Circle this morning waiting on Mark to come by. That tall one? Yes, sir. That's very tall, Miss Southern 500. I remember Mark's comment, looked up at her and said, that's tall. Well, they're celebrating in the Mark. I, what, uh, I'd like to finish this thing, but once they stopped it, I thought, Man, I'd hate for him to restart it. Something might go wrong. So, uh, the Win Dixie car was just, it was perfect. And the guys were awesome on pit road. And uh, I'm looking forward to running this car next week. I can't wait. Well, I, I can't believe that. You're a lot easier than I was. Two years ago, I went up at Watkins Glen. He was the first guy there. He said, well, it's official. You win the race. I said, buddy, I got to have it from a little bit higher source than you. <laughs> I can't believe you're that easy. This is a joke. You didn't win the race. They're going to start it again in a minute. <laughs> well, it, that, I'd be dumb enough to believe it. Congratulations, man. Uh, thanks, man. Hey, uh, does this make up for Bristol? No, that not last week. I'm talking back, you know, when you pulled in, remember? Yeah. I mean, Kyle says you're gullible no, and you that believe don't, That don't make up. Nothing makes up for being as stupid as I was at the first Bristol. And Ernie, Butch Stevens said that he called and he said anything he can do to stra help straighten that car out. I think I'll take your car and have a snout like this put on it so next time we run it, maybe it'll work better. That car... This car is kind of a secret car, and I mean, you got some things in that car to make it really good, don't you? Yeah, what we do is we, we tell everybody that we've got it all changed up and it's special, our design, and then everybody's all confused and they cut all their stuff up and we're still racing regular stuff and everybody else is out to lunch, so. Now, but back, back to talking about Ernie, I mean, it sounds like you're already spending money for him out there. Butch offered to do it for free. Wow. And, uh, you know, BSR has race cars offered to, just to help out because that's what we run in, in this Bush series and the Win Dixie car. And uh, heck, man, I just, uh, I'm thankful that, uh, you know, we had a good safe day and the Goodyear tires worked good and that Ford ran all day or till the race was over. All right, congratulations, Mark. Also, a fine run for Chad. Check out the point lead. White flag. One more. And Mark, hold on. Oh, that's going down some. Yes, it will. Had to go up on the outside there. Roger Thomas uh, trying to stay out there and get a finish, but still, Mark has a pretty good decent lead going into the Mark Martin, the three-time winner here at the racetrack, twice the winner in the Gatorade 200, trying to pick up his fourth career victory. Here's a battle, Elton Sawyer, Jeff Green, and Jason Keller for position as Martin takes the win. Here they come off the corner, they're still racing, and it's going to be Keller.
Sawyer and Jeff Green. Saw something there I've never seen on this racetrack. Three of rest coming into turn four. Didn't believe they could make it, but they did. Boy, that was seventh, eighth, and ninth spot. As Mark Martin has won the Gatorade 200, picks up his second Bush Series victory here in 1995. We'll come back and talk to the winner after this. Michael Waltrip and Terry Labonte going for broke when Doug Hebron grabbed the wall and held on. The three leaders made it a mad dash through traffic back to the checkers. The Amico with car for 1999, the car owned by Bill Davis, and the white flag now being waved to signify the completion of all but one lap here at Darlington Raceway. Mark Martin, the master of Darlington, and Blaney pedaling for all he's worth, but the gap it's about nine tenths of a second. I'm going to tell you something. That's Mark Martin's a master of Darlington, but I think Dave Blaney has, has shown that he's a pretty good student, and he's come out here in second. When he comes back to run the Winston Cup stuff next year, those guys down there in the garage are going to take notice of Bill Davis and Dave Blaney will be a factor in a lot of racetracks next year. All right, Mark, Mark will win it. Here's the battle for position four and 14. That's for the eighth spot, and Purvis will have it over Sterling Marlin. Mark Martin has taken the victory. Martin, his fifth win in 1999 in the 10 races this season. And he has run. Let's go down to Ray Dunlap. Burton looks to the inside as they come down for the wide flag. He's making a move on the bottom of the racetrack. They are side by side. Burton's car wiggles and slips, and the wide flag waves. We are in the final lap at the track. Two top 15. It is Burton on the bottom. Martin up high. A pair of Ford side by side. And Benny, what a battle. What a fantastic battle through the corners. Going through a corner side by side. You can't run through the corner. And all of a sudden, Burton is winning again as Kevin's go by on the outside. Or trying to go by on the outside. And off turn four will come Mark Martin to the checkered flag. Mark Martin will hold on for the win. Possibly kids will take second spot. Burton's tires are going away. Listen to these fans as they have enjoyed one of the best Bush battles. And that crew's enjoying it so much because they are headed to victory lane. There's a disappointed Kim Burton, who's Jeff's wife, knowing her husband gave it his all and came within a half a lap of having a shot at winning it. We'll come back and talk to the winner. Time for the white flag from Matt Abernathy. Final time for Mark Martin. Darlington Raceway. He is the winningest Bush Series driver ever. Seven victories. Will he make it eight today? He will never come back here in a Bush car. But his teammate, Jeff Burton, trying to reel him in from three car lengths back. Down the back straightaway for the final time in his illustrious career at the granddaddy of all stock car facilities, Will Martin. Hang on for his eighth career Bush Series win, and it looks like indeed he will. The fans are on their feet cheering, and Mark Martin will take the victory. Jeff Burton in second spot. Elton Sawyer is third. Then Jeff Green and Ward Burton rounding out the top five. Emotional victory lane as Tony Lambert and the Win Dixie crew for Jack Roush Racing will go up and celebrate with this driver right here, 41-year-old Mark Martin, his eighth victory at Darlington Raceway.